ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch where today we're taking a look at Louis Barry. He's already had quite a career uh, and we will see how he gets on in the future. Uh, before we get started of course make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes. But like I say it is Louis Barry today. Um, captain under 18 level for England. Uh, is a striker naturally but can play either side as well as probably develop just behind the striker along with that um some decent stats already some good pace uh got good determination and flair as well uh, and along with that dribbling finishing and first touch all look very nice at 18 years old so plenty of room for growth but you can probably see down here so we'll jump to the history that he's actually played well been at barcelona before so he made the journey from West Brom to Barcelona, then back to the Midlands for 925000 So a lot of money's been spent on him uh, already as an 18-year-old. Currently out on loan at Swindon, so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on there. Um, but let's take a look at his potential ability. So he's currently at 96, a potential of 122. So maybe not quite as high as we'd have probably hoped if Barcelona and Aston Villa are spending so much money on him so young. Um, but we will see how he gets on. Uh, and if as we do, we'll jump ahead now and take a look. And here we are then, 10 years on, he's 27 years old now, just coming to the end of his contract at Las Palmas, actually. Uh, not capped for England, and he's currently wanted by the likes of Girona at the end of his contract. Not much development seems to have gone on, uh, maybe a couple of areas improvement, but otherwise stayed pretty much the same. Um, let's take a look at his history though. Uh, we can see here, obviously his time at Swindon was actually not too bad. 13 goals in 20, 36 games. Um, a move to Blackburn followed in the championship uh, where he did end up getting promoted with them but unfortunately didn't play much in the initial seasons. But moving to Premier League seems to give him the opportunity to play which is an interesting one. Didn't perform too well though and that led to the move to Las Palmas for 190k uh, where he seems to have done a lot better but again, still not got that game time that we'd maybe would have hoped. Uh, milestones wise, competitions, Papa John's Trophy winners with the under 23s at Aston Villa, um, but otherwise relegated from the Premier League with Blackburn. Uh, and awards, again, is best 11s and team of the weeks. It's what we normally see with these sort of players. Um, nothing too substantial. But let's quickly take a look at the attributes before we go. 104 current ability, 122 potential. So I think that limited game time he received probably affected him a bit too much. And that's limited him to the 104 current ability. Uh, would have been nice to see him reach that 122 to see if he'd have gone anywhere. But it's nice to... It is nice to see a player go abroad, um, an English player that is. Obviously had the experience with Barcelona, so maybe he was a bit more confident to go over there uh, with Las Palmas. Um, and obviously doing a lot better. If we'd continue, I'm sure he would improve. Uh, it is coming to the end of his contract, but looks like Girona are interested. But with that, we will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and of course, leave a comment down below of any plays you want to see in upcoming episodes, and I'll catch you in the next one.